Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb B and you're very, very welcome. So it's Friday, Friday's request day. Today's map has been requested by Haranth and has been voted in by the Bomb Bomb Buddies over on Patreon. If you want to get involved in that vote, it's very simple indeed. Just head over to patreon.com forward slash Bomb Bomb B and sign up. Now it will cost you a massive, sit down, two pennies a show. Yeah. But once you've done that, you'll get to vote on the Friday map. You'll get your name in the closing credits. And that's a really nice start. <laughs> Another really nice start. Well, you know, it's the daily reminder. That's right. Hit the like button really does support the channel. Gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So thanks for your support. Today's map is Heron Point by Go Mark. We have seen Go Mark before. This map is quite nice. I think a lot of you are going to like it more than I do. Okay, let's put it down a little bit in it. Um, two road entrances into the start square, but only one of them connects. That's the one on the left. And then you've got the resources. They're dotted all over the place. Um, good for planning, and I'm okay with planning. I don't have an issue with that at all. And then off to the workshop. Now, we're using the regular temperate theme, the realistic average LUT. There are a few other bits to subscribe to there, mostly foliage and network extensions too. Apparently there's no DLC required, but you probably need After Dark, it says in the description, for a few of the props. I'll tell you now, you will also want green cities. Not truly essential, but it's almost, almost game breaking if you don't. But we will get to that later. So, the roads. We start off with this highway. I like the way this highway, it winds between these hills. And it stays nice and flat all the way. I think it's a little bit of a stretch of the imagination, but uh, it's still not bad. It's nice. It is, what has been done is very nicely done there. We come down to our first intersection. It's not one of any great note. Um, it's, uh, we'll pull up and I'll show you it. It's quite, it's very pretty. The whole aesthetics of this is very nice actually. Um, whether or not I like these, uh, these slip roads. I mean, it's fairly tight turning because the road is bending away already. Uh, two lanes into three lanes is just about okay. If you can see what's coming, you can't. The traffic's going through a blind corner. You've got those barriers as well. And that is just a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, all of the uh, all the slip roads on that one are the same. My favorite part of the whole map is now currently on the left-hand side. We will have a look at that after the, uh, after the intermission. And uh, we'll carry on. So now we've got this intersection here. This is, this is really, really fun. I love this. We'll pull right back. So we've got the double roundabouts and we've got the double slip roads leading to the roundabouts. We've got uh, everything about this is really slick. Now here we've got the slip roads. Two into three, I don't mind because you can see the traffic that's coming. They can see you pulling out into the traffic and hopefully there won't be a disaster. Double slip roads there with the uh, central median. I love that. That's really, really quite fun. And then come down here. This is entering the start square. Now this road only just enters the start square and it's like one node maybe is in the start square. So you can just about make that work right like that. It's a little bit bigger than that. And what else is in the start square you ask me? Well, there's one of these things here. That's right, it's the asset review time. This is HDB652445 by Ali Kaffee How Yeah. And this is great. I, that's all I'm going to tell you. It's great. It's great. I'm going to show you some close-ups in a minute. But while I'm setting up for the close-ups, let me read you today's factoids. Because factoids! I did have one ready. I did have one ready. Oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. I'll find it. There we go. The uh, poster advertising Casablanca is the best-selling poster of all time. Apparently. Back in the 80s, I'd be very surprised it's been overtaken. Possibly the one for Titanic. No, what, what do you think? What, what's the currently the best selling poster of all time? But back in the 80s, yeah, Casablanca. What a great, great film, that one. Ah, Humphrey Bogart. And the line that he never said. <laughs> Stick it in the comments if you know the line that he never said. 
Anyway, there you go. HDB 652445 Ali Kathy Howe. Yeah, today's asset of the day. Right, we'll head down to the other side here. Now, here we've got a road that doesn't wait, enters the start square. And we've got roundabouts going on there. And there's something in the comments in the, in, in, on the, bleh, in the description, on the workshop page, that says that uh, these roundabouts are broken if you switch between right and left hand drive. Now, I don't know for sure. I do not know for sure whether that's the case, but uh, uh, maybe, maybe it's been fixed. It does, I would have thought it would still work, but maybe it's been fixed. So anyway, this road, this road that I'm saying doesn't connect up, I, I'll show you what I mean. Comes up to we've got another roundabout there with all the roads going round, around, around, around. And then it comes down here with all the dirt tracks, which would be, you imagine all your heavy traffic coming along here to enter your city. This is what I'm saying, it doesn't connect up. Well, obviously it does because we've got these dirt tracks, so it does connect up. Then we've got this, uh, this viaduct bridge going across at a great height here, yeah, lovely fun, lovely fun. And then it, well, it dead ends there. So it doesn't connect up, I wasn't lying. We've only got that one entrance and it's start. I'm okay with one entrance and start square. It's fine. It's a good entrance too. It only just enters the start square though. And that'll be one on the right hand end of here. Now the rail, the rail. No, let's have a go. No, we'll do the rail in a minute. Let's have a look at the roads. We haven't finished with the roads yet. This intersection, this is great. It's got a great eyedropper effect on it. Oh, look down here, slip road. Now I've gone down to ground and the slip road is at ground level. I see that's fine. If the other one had been like that, they'd have been perfect. You know, a great eyedropper effect anyway with the loop round on the highway on that intersection. And we'll carry on along here. I don't know if you notice, I've got a slightly huskier voice today. I'm liking it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling my voice today. It has taken me a number of takes to get to this point, actually, because I've been um, coughing and spluttering things that you really don't want to hear, see or hear. <laughs> you really don't want to see, honestly. Yeah. But um, I feel fine. I feel fine. It's just, um, you know, sometimes you say sometimes your voice is, hey, ladies, <laughs> an aurus of love. Okay, there we go. Um, we, we're doing the rail. The rail is, looks pretty flat to me. A nice little uh, tunnel going through there. Had the terrain lines on just to show it was relatively uh, flat. Here, you see we're going up a little bit of a hill. Again, realism is just a little bit losing with the rail uh, in more than one way, like, this looping around here, that's, where's that off to? We'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Let's follow this rail line. Now this rail line heads down to what would be a harbour area or an industrial area. As we've got, see so you've got the resources here. I think there's oil there down here. And uh, this loops around and it comes back down to the rail that we just looked. Now for me, it's a little bit bubbly. You know, it's a little bit curvy and you just, it, I don't feel it. I don't feel the rail on this map. I, I'm, I'm more grumpy. Oh, perfect little start uh, location for your railway station there. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not buying into the rail on this map. It's not, it's not horrendous by any, you know, shape. But it's just, oh, uh, uh, don't know if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm having trouble explaining it. Anyway, this rail goes around here, follows the road off that, and goes off into the fog. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why the traffic AI is so bad in this game? Why do all those cars all want to use the same lane? Then you need Bon Bon B's Guide to Traffic AI. Click the information button now. And so back to Heron Point by Gomark and the shipping routes. Now the shipping routes are um, mostly good. Apart from this one here where it connects up at a right angle, but it is off out of the 25 tiles. You probably won't notice that one. That goes off to the fog there. All the rest of them though, we've got these little, little triangular things that soften the turning uh, shapes as well. And they all go into all the nooks and crannies and down all the channels like this. This however, yeah, we've got a loop around here. I'd be happier with a straight line and just have it extend a little bit so we can get our harbour right into the end, like bring it right the way around to about here and then we can get our harbour right on the uh, right on the corner if we wanted to. If we wanted to, maybe you don't. But having the option is good. It goes off the edge of the fog in both directions. Now, water flow, there's no running water on this map, but that's okay because we've got proviso. 
First of all, we've got a water source here with water flowing right into it already. You can see that's good. And it's already uh, mainsed up for you to connect into. This is where your water outflow is supposed to go. And uh, you can see we've got uh, we've got a little well there and it'll pump into the well. All fresh water's coming in there and there's a drain there as well. We do have a little bit of a problem with this though, if I come out of here. So um, if we uh, come in and there you go, there's your, there's your drain. So that will suck all the sewage away. But your water outflow there is supposed to be hidden in everybody's favorite factory. These are um, like sewage units. I can't remember what they're called, sorry, but they come with a green cities. So you're going to have to either get green cities or I'm gonna look over here at some of these blandish mountains and uh, this ridiculously high um, security point. But yes, uh, you either have to have some green cities or anarchy to be able to put uh, the vanilla ones in place. If you haven't got either of those two, then basically you're going to have to find another way around the sewage issues. And there will be. Now imagine you, me and a thousand mates with fire arrows are coming up this hill. We're invading the country. This is the best way to invade the country. So we come up this hill and we're going to find a really good location up here to look down on the castle. And now the castle is in real trouble because us and our mates and our fire arrows and our trebuchets are going to destroy it. That's probably what killed the, killed the castle. Um, then we've got this bit of glitching here. We've got a little bit of land glitching in this area. I don't think it's my machine. I have reloaded the map several times. Water spawn point is nice if not totally realistic, but it's nice. And then if we go down here, we've got a very nice little stream. I do like the way the stream has been done. This is really very nice indeed. I have not shown you the worst of it though. The worst of it is we got this glitch. Oh dear, what is going on with that glitch? That is not a good glitch. And we've got these glitches. Yeah, this is weird. This is very weird indeed. I can't believe that these have been missed. And I'm 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 sure I'm sure this isn't me because if we take those two and just move them out of the way, you can see the natural terrain is there. The natural terrain is there, and it's been. I mean, look at the floating foliage as well. Oh dear, no. We'll just undo that. We'll put them back in exactly the right location. So yes, some um, some quite nasty glitching there. That's really very odd. Okay, we don't go off to the fog. We've been off to the fog a couple of times now. Um, got nicer. I love the regular temperate water. It's really quite, almost quite spooky water. Mil milky water is what we have there. Uh, now the forests look like they've been done with a tree brush, um, the new forest tree brush, and it's a little bit too random. I'd like to see a more dominant species amongst all of this. It's just a little bit too mush. And the forest tree brush, I'll have to do a, um, a proper tutorial on it, a, a mod spot on it. Um, you can actually set the percentages as to what trees you'd like to appear more often. And it just seems a little bit random. This isn't random though. This is my favourite part of the whole map. It's a little farm area. Um, nicely uh, fenced there as well. We've got a little orchard going on there. And then we've got, uh, we've got I don't know what's going on here. Just, just nice plants. Good selection of plants. And again down here looks like uh, wheat fields. Uh, it looks really uh, lovely and lush and even the vanilla dirt track which I'm not a huge fan of personally I'm really not oh uh, we've got a decal down here which isn't the decal, muddy decal there that's not actually in the requirement list so there's definitely stuff not in the requirement list that probably should be as well anyway what do you think of this map is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10 will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month only you can decide and i think it's got a chance i think it's got a chance there's there's a, a certain charm to this map and uh, a relative st a standard there's a certain standard to the map as well so aesthetically i think it has some very nice four star areas i don't think there's enough of them and I've got to settle for three stars overall. I'm going to call it a high three, though. I th it doesn't deserve to go in that in the middle with the mundane. It's it's a high three. Detailing across the whole is very good. There are obviously a few nasty glitches going on here and there, but not many. And overall, on the grand scheme of the map, it's a four star map. 
Gameplay potential. Okay, here we go. Because of the green cities thing, or you need anarchy thing for the water, there's a problem. Also, um, yeah, I, I, I it, uh, don't know. Tricky. I've got to give it three. I'm going to give it three. I think, again, I'm going to call this a high three. I think it's a very playable map. I think it's just a question mark on that water flow. And, of course, there was discussion on the, uh, the roundabout on the workshop. Anyway, Heron Point by GoMark. Um, today's uh, today's lovely map of the day. Uh, it, to me, it, I don't I don't see that those uh, those roundabouts would be a problem. I'm pretty sure by looking at them, I'm pretty sure they've been fixed, whatever the problem was. But if they haven't been, then you just right hand drive on that map and you'll be fine. You'll be fine, apart from the water where you need greens. Now shut up, bum bum. Anyway, where were we? Ah uh, yes, uh, thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. Join me to know tomorrow for another map in the what map series, and I really do need to update my Patreon graphic. Oops, sorry about that, June people. Sorry.